the Sundarbans is a cluster of low-lying islands in the Bay of Bengal, spread across the coast of India and Bangladesh. It holds the world's largest mangrove forest with an area of about 10,000 square kilometers of which 60% is in Bangladesh and the rest in India. This UNESCO heritage site that lies on the delta of Ganga, Brahmaputra and Meghna rivers on the Bay of Bengal includes three wildlife sanctuaries. As one of the largest remaining areas of mangroves in the world, the Sundarbans holds an exceptional level of biodiversity. It is known for its wide range of fauna, including innumerable species of birds, the Bengal tiger and many other threatened species like saltwater crocodiles and Indian python. Sundarbans, which is also home to over 5 million people, is an ecologically fragile and climatically vulnerable region. The Sundarbans provides sustainable livelihoods to millions of people and functions as a protective barrier for its inhabitants from storms, cyclones, tidal surges, seawater seepage and intrusion. This area has been facing a lot of extreme weather events of increasing intensity over the last few years. In 2007, Cyclone Sitar hit Sundarbans and caused around 40% damage to the ecologically fragile area. It was struck by Cyclone Isla in 2009, resulting in massive casualties. In 2019, Cyclone Bulbul hit Sundarbans but did not cause as much damage as Sitar and Isla did. But recently, on May 20, Super Cyclone Ampan took a trail over Sundarbans, resulting in a massive destruction. Winds blowing at over 150 km per hour hit the Sundarbans by the time the cyclone had made its landfall. Authorities are still trying to assess the extent of damage caused by Cyclone Ampan on Sundarbans. Over 4 million people staying in the North 24 Parganas and South 24 Parganas were badly affected by Cyclone Ampan. Experts say that the Delta's mangroves have helped to reduce the intensity of the cyclone hitting the coastal communities in the area like always. But the damage caused by Cyclone Ampan on the wildlife is clearly high. The flooding due to cyclones or storms and the rise of sea level has resulted in high levels of salination in the Delta, making it completely unusable for farming. The degrading health of mangroves affects their resilience and recovery potential against climate change consequences. As the frequency and intensity of extreme weather events are expected to increase in the future, it is very important to conserve the mangroves of the Sundarbans.